like this hair like mm, so funny <laughs> that's just so odd to me because even when I, I was like oh my god this wig is and even when I did do the elastic bands it was just like all it did was take away the stretch of the wig it didn't seem to make the wig look like fit this wig is just very like odd to me I just ate I'm nice and full. Just record another video. It's my second one. I had to give me a meal in between. But we have a initial review for my supernova wig. We'll get into the details in a second. First thing first, let's talk about how this is the second interaction with this type of box. Your girl, I ordered my wig too small the first time. So let me tell you, usually when I get frontal wigs, I have to put an elastic band on there. And if they come with elastic bands, I have to pull it all the way tight and cross the hooks. Yeah, usually I have to hook the wigs that become, uh, the hooks that become in the back of the wig. I usually have to cross or hook them on the same hook. So I was like, let me just go ahead and order my wig in small. Small cap size. Now, I almost got it. I almost had it. Like, it wasn't miserably too small. Like, this is some of this is wig, but for the most part, my edges stick out pretty far and like, that's why I have to wear glueless wigs because this, my edges will be gone. If I, or my wig gonna be sitting like on my forehead if I try to cover up. Yeah, so I ordered my wig cap too small and I had to send it back. Here we are, this is the initial, initial review, finally. This time the box came nice. The last time, I'm gonna see if I can, I'm probably gonna insert a picture, but the last time the box came all beat up from FedEx and just reminded me of this tweet I saw where they had all the delivery men and the FedEx man just threw the thing. That's how my box looked, like he just threw it against my door. So this one looked a little better, even though it's still delivered by FedEx. It came with this little edge scarf, but I wore it in my previous video. I just got done filming. It was a two month update on this week, so check that out. So I wore it in that video. I tried to cover the name as to not like be controversial, maybe part of the matter. So it came with this edge scarf, an elastic band. I think this is too thin for me. I'm probably just gonna have to use my thick one. I have an inch and a half one. This is probably like a half an inch. I don't know if that's gonna work for me. Okay, so we have some wig caps and I'm glad it's the darker ones because those are the ones that match my skin tone. I like how Supernova has all these gifts and things that come in their boxes. Um, Speaking of, let me talk about customer service because since she was so nice exchanging it, it wasn't really a hassle. So I was a little worried because yeah, some another company tried to play me. I'm gonna do a whole story time on that. So keep on the lookout for that. But yeah, she was so nice. But she did try to be like, well, if it's too small due to the pandemic, everything, it might be easier for you to just give it to a family friend or something. I was like, oh no, baby, I want my wig. I want my wig. And talking about a $15. No, the wig was $170. There's the price. Speaking of, no, I'm not gonna take a $15 credit and give it to a friend. Um, I just and then like on the box it says convenient replace and return policy. So let's get it. That's the only thing that kind of just like why would you off if I'm messaging you, I just feel like obviously I want to exchange the wig like who wants a wig they can't wear? And who is going to be able to wear that? It was a small wig cap and I don't even have that large of a head, so I don't know anybody whose head that wig would've fit on. But yeah, that was the only thing. But other than that, like, she gave me an address, had no issue getting the wig. I mean, getting them back to them, getting mine returned. Oh, she did not tell me when she sent the wig back out. That's the only thing kind of bothered me. I had to message her. She was like, oh yeah, we sent it out. Here's the tracking out. And then the next day I got it in the mail. I was like, okay, you can let me know, sis. What's up with that? But other than that, customer service was really nice. I got this wig from Supernova Hair. And supposedly they're very much known for their 99J wigs. 
this is how it came to keep the shape or whatever looks like this lace is light brown definitely gonna have to tint that but i always tint my lace on my frontals because major key this, this is a 16 inch medium cat light 99j kiki curly wig hair is very soft Smells like regular like weave hair. How my weave always smells when I first get it. Oh, these ends look good. Maybe I should have got 250 or 200, but no, nah, 180 straight. It's not gonna be super big, but I was going for like the cute little bob, kinky curly look, but like not short bob, but like you know. Y'all can see it has a very nice luster. This wig seems better than the other one. Not gonna cap to you, but like it was a small cap size, so probably not many people order small cap sizes. <laughs> yeah, I messed up on that. And I had to take that ear. I was thinking, like, can I make this work? And the answer was no. I could not make it work. It was not going to work. My hair is red, so I was like, yes, I want this. Like, I'm really digging the burgundy. The 99J is really feeling like me. So, no bugs, nothing. Like I said, I paid $170 for a 16 inches. The straps, I'm probably gonna have to pull those all the way tight. Right now, when I first wear it, I probably will not have to attach an elastic band. So, it probably won't. I don't know. I'm about to see how it fits on my head when I first put it on there. Nice medium cap. It should fit. Like, I don't think I'm going to have an issue with it fitting this time. I'm going to have to tint the lace. And I use Sally Hansen's airbrush legs to tint my lace. Um, I guess I need to try something else, but that's worked for me. So, I'm not going to bleach my knots. I don't do that. Does not have a comb on the back. I think they kind of maybe people started to get rid of that because I pretty much thought it was pointless anyway. So yeah, I got the combs on the sides. I be using them. Not gonna cap to you. And for the most part, I use a comb in the back unless it feels like it's hurting me. Uh oh, I mean, it's curly hair, so like I can't remember if curly hair is supposed to shed more or not. But I am getting some hairs. Probably won't require that much plucking. I'm gonna have to make sure I do not over pluck this one. The last um curly wig I low key over plucked. I'm not gonna put a dimming brush to it because when I put that dimming brush to it, it was over with. It pretty much took all the rest of the hair that was already like loose. It's pretty much what I be looking for. When I be the initial thoughts of the wig. I'm really trying to think before I start recording this. <laughs> Look, so boom, I wanted to insert this clip now that I have it struggled, fought, thought I just hated this wig, trying to install it, and I just felt like it was something I needed to talk about in the initial review. So, the way that this cap is made, I hate it. I don't know if it's all of the Supernova's wigs or if they just decided to save a little money and reuse the same frontal for the wig that I ordered that was too small and put it on this one. This is just me hypothesizing because I have never struggled this much trying to make a wig fit my head. It's usually the other way around where it's too, too big and I have to pull the elastic bands out. I mean, I can add an elastic band and plus I'm using the ones in the back. So it's never an issue for real. But I will also say that it might be in a combination of the way my hairline is because usually my hairline is like sticking out kind of far from under the wig because that's just the way it is. And that's why I do glueless, or glueless installs in the first place. But like this just seemed a bit excessive the way that it just did not fit my head because I'm not even somebody who has like a big head i really struggle like if i show y'all my sideburns are right there like i did glue this i glued my sideburns down because that was the only way that they were going to stay and i was going to be able to wear this wig as a frontal instead of a closure yesterday at work i was like i guess it's just going to be a closure wig because i hated it and that was also before i had cut it and put some shape to it i was like oh my god i hate this wig like so yeah you can see that my if I move my sideburns, I, my 
sideburns are sticking out and like I said I don't have that big of a head so that was very confusing to me because on Supernova Hair's website they said unless ordered otherwise your wig is going to be a medium cap size so that's supposed to be standard that's supposed to be people who have a normal head maybe their head is a little bit bigger but it's not a big head <laughs> and I don't really have a big head so I was thoroughly confused as to why I struggled so much with this wig also the way these com the combs are all the way back here like what is that really going to do to keep my wig on my head other wigs that i have the wig the combs will be like right here so that even if you're wearing a wig cap you can still hook the frontal onto your your hair and like there's just no way that that's going to happen with the combs being all the way back here like almost at the back of my head oh i forgot to add something else i forgot to add something else the way that i just know something is wrong with this wig is because even as a medium cap i cannot even like hardly use the elastic bands in the back to tighten my wig that's just so odd to me because even when i, I was like oh my god this wig is this wig is too small and even when i did do the elastic bands it was just like all it did was take away the stretch of the wig it didn't seem to make the wig like fit snug on my head it's just this wig is just very like odd to me another thing when i i had to i sewed a whole elastic band when i was customizing this wig i sewed a whole elastic band on this wig but i had to take it off because it was hurting more than it was helping like it just it was making it even harder for the the um frontal to just fit on my head because you know the elastic band pulls it tighter so i needed every little millimeter that i could get of this frontal because it's just small that's just at the end of the day that's my issue with this wig it is still small but i'm confused because i've never had this problem before. i just wanted to add that to this video i don't know if it's going to be the last clip of this video or just insert it somewhere thank you so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on my channel thank you